Citizens UK, I'd say, probably over the last 20 years, has done quite a lot of ad hoc work with trade unions around specific campaigns. But the, I don't think the relationship has been as strong as it could or should be, really, given you know, the incredible organising traditions in the labour movement, given the overlap of concern, the overlap of social values. Um, but coming here to Nottingham was a chance to, to try uh, a new set of methods. So I started volunteering here with um, the support of some local activists and the trade union movement and, the, and faith communities. And over a year of discussion, they raised about £150,000 to fund an initial two-year organising drive. Um, at the heart of it, really, uh, our organisation is now co-chaired by Helen Black, who's the regional secretary for Unison, and Karen Rooms, who's an Anglican vicar in St Anne's, um, which is one of the tougher areas of the city. I was delighted that after probably the first six to nine months, um, built a strong relationship with Unison, uh, sorry, with Unite, so it's been you know, absolutely great working with Luke and his counterparts um, across the union, who now sit right at the heart of the work we're doing. And we have an advisory group um, that is essentially the trustees of the group of the organisation that do strategy, the whole, you know, that I'm accountable to. Um, and it's been exciting work, really. We, we haven't yet found it, so on June 27th we'll bring together a thousand people for our founding assembly in the Albert Hall, which is just down the road. Look, I think we're bringing 50. I am. It's on camera now, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but our first action, and one of the stories I wanted to tell was last November. Our first, uh, you know, I've met one to one since moving to Nottingham, probably a thousand people. Um, it's the bread and butter of my work, just having those one to one meetings. And over a year, you know, Nottingham, Nottingham has come an enormous way in becoming a safer city in the last 10, 20 years. An enormous way. It has the lowest crime rates it's had for 30 years, but it is still something that people are, are concerned about. And it was obvious while we were having these conversations that crime and community safety was an issue that people still felt strongly about. And we obviously had the, the police and crime commissioner elections coming up. Um, so we, we got the groups together and they developed a joint agenda. And in the end, we turned out 1,045 people three days before the election to put a series of four asks that they had developed to the candidates for police and crime commission. One of my favourite bits of the assembly was a guy called Raj Chandra. Raj stood as an MP, he was, uh, stood as an independent. He was the four candidates, Labour candidate, Conservative candidate, and two independents. And Raj was one of the independents. And we saw a meeting with each candidate before the assembly to start to do some of the business with them and talk about how it would go. Um, and Raj would not meet with us. You know, I wrote to him again and again, and I called him again and again. I was like, no, really, we know a lot of people, and there's going to be loads there, and you should meet with us. And he just wouldn't do it. And I remember one week out from the assembly, I sat down with you, Luke, and I said, I do not know what to do with this guy. I don't know what to do with him. You know, he won't, he won't meet, so he's going to stand up. He's going to look like a lemon. You know, should I write another letter? Should we just go to his office? And Luke had, you know, the touch of inspiration to say, it's fine, George, put him on first. So we put him on first, and you know, he stood up and he saw this 1,000 people out in the audience. I said, you were there, Liam was there. Um, and he stood up on the stage and he said, wow, this is an awful lot of people. Um, you know, I'm really delighted to be here. I really want to work with you. He talked for ages about how he wanted to work with us. And Steve Yem, who's on the Unite Regional Committee, was tasked with pinning Brad Chandran and challenging him around our agenda. And Steve's question was, was surprising to see that you're so committed to working with us, Mr Chandran, given you were the only candidate who refused to meet with us for the two months in the run-up to this election. And the silence was kind of, was deafening. And it was, it was really, it was wonderful. Uh, it was a great night. We did loads of public business. It was really powerful and substantial. It was by far and away the largest event of that election campaign UK-wide. Um, and the reason why I tell that story is partly because it's great, but partly because it's, it, it's illustrative of Working across broad-based organising with different traditions and different communities gives enormous opportunities for learning. And one of the great learnings that I've taken from working with the trade union movement has been around tension and negotiation. Just like in Nottingham, the evangelical churches have something to teach everyone about recruitment and, and organisational growth. So that's been one of the you know, great successes of it. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and and the work continues. There's loads more stories, but as I said, I won't bore you because half of you know them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, thank you for having time.